This is Gary Gaiman with the Dominate the Day podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to help you get 1% better in your business, provide clarity, and give you some ideas that will help you grow your business. If you're ready to dominate the day, let's go. Dominate the day. That's what we're about to do. If you don't want to dominate, then this podcast ain't for you. But if you are, then keep listening. Because every single damn day, the mission is, it's to dominate. You already know. We're here to dominate the day. So if you want to dominate every day, then let's go. It's time to grow. This is another episode of Dominate the Day. What's going on, Dominate Nation? It's another episode of the Dominate the Day podcast. And as you're quickly learning, we're doing a little bit something different on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I have a lot of a lot of good friends that are business owners, and I want to share them with you, my audience. And so we're doing uh, we're doing live interviews. Uh, that's one reason. The other reason is uh, I was just running out of cool shit to say by myself. So here we are with a uh, interview today. I have uh, a guy that, uh, quite frankly, we met because of Facebook. And uh, we've been, um, I guess you'd call us friends, Facebook official friends for like six years now. And um, we uh, were involved in each other's businesses in one way or the other. And uh, I think uh, you guys will Learn a lot, get a lot of information, and uh, and and maybe maybe find uh, maybe maybe find a new association you should join. That's just a shameless plug I'm making for Jamie. But anyway, I got Jamie Schmidt with us today, and um, hopefully uh, you guys uh, you guys take away a lot from uh, this interview. And uh, excited that you are here, my friend Jamie Schmidt, who also. Struggling with a little C O V I D. I won't say the name so we don't get any issues. <laughs> Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate you being here. Well, wow, thank you for having me. Come on, man. It's my pleasure, brother. Come out and hang out for a few minutes and talk business. I love it. Absolutely. So, uh, real quick before we get into talking about what we're going to talk about, let's. Uh, well, I'll, I'll flip this on its side and we'll start here. We just came back from uh, an event that. Uh, you put on for your association. Uh, how many years have we been? Has it been going now? Five, five four, five. Two thousand and nineteen was the official. Yep, okay. the official one. So, so Jamie runs an organization, uh, the PWMCA, which uh, the official acronym is. Sta- it changed? Is the acronym? It has. It has. The uh, official acronym stands for the Professional Worldwide Mobile Contractors Association, and uh, basically, Jamie helps. Home service owners, home service business owners connect, learn, grow uh, through this association. And we just came back from, uh, would you say it's the annual? The annual? Is that what this is? That's the annual. Yes. That one is the annual. Yes. Yeah. So uh, it was in Orlando. Three days of uh, a lot of good learning, information, networking, and some fun. Uh, I heard there was a really great rendition of a party in the USA sang at the karaoke, but <laughs> that's just from what I hear. Tell so us a little bit about the, uh, the association and the event, Jamie. Yeah, the association is, is a bunch of like-minded guys, man, a brotherhood that you know want to help each other succeed and, and bring resources to help each other grow. And these events are awesome because they get a chance to get there and network, meet each other, and uh, – Bring in some awesome speakers. Like, you know, we had you speak. We had a lot of a lot of great speakers come in to try to give them the resources to help with those business, you know, business struggles. That's the tough part, the business struggling, man. You know, guys are struggling, not knowing, you know, not knowing how to market, not knowing if they should scale. Not, you know, it's all these things. You know, the actual work isn't too hard to learn, you know. Yeah. I'm an exterior cleaning company, so that's pretty easy to learn, in my opinion. But business, no, yeah, not that easy to learn. So the association is geared to trying to try to help those guys get over those struggles. Yeah, and you know, yeah, good good point uh, that you brought up uh, the doing the work of your business, like serving clients. That's not really the hard part, you know. Um, the other pieces of business is what is what's difficult, you know, like. I, I talk about this all the time. There's there's things in business that I'm good at. There's things in business that I suck at. For instance, I'm not a big, 
I'm, I'm not I'm not the most intelligent person when it comes to taxes and planning. So so I have people that I rely on uh, that help me do that the best way that I can. But sometimes guys get stuck either because of necessity or just because they don't know. And uh, they, they wind up in places where they get stuck. And, you know, your association helps to, um, like you said, definitely a brotherhood. And it definitely is a group of individuals that are trying to achieve the s similar things. And, um, you know, if, you, if you're looking or you've been searching for something that can help you um, kind of get some new ideas, maybe solve some problems, or just to be able to connect to other entrepreneurs, um, which, you know, that's not always easy. I think the PWMCA would be a great, uh, great choice for you. And at the same time, um, you know, a great way for you to learn things about your business that maybe you didn't know. So uh, we'll talk a little bit later about where to get into in touch with Jamie. But I know that's top of his mind all the time. And, uh, you know, education, motivation and helping people achieve is something that, you know, I've watched you do for the last couple of years. And, you know, I, I always talk about or ask people to talk about like before they were an entrepreneur. But I mean, was there a before you were an entrepreneur or have you always been an entrepreneur? Well, I was born into window cleaning company. So, yeah. you know, I've been cleaning windows since I was a little kid. So my grandfather owned the company. That's all I lived with. So, uh, yeah, I guess I was, I was born into it. So I didn't have a choice. Yeah. Um. I didn't, I didn't really do good at nine to fives. I've had them over the years, but I was never a good employee. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, I was a good employee making money. I was a hell of a salesman for them. You know, I got paid commission in those jobs, but I was never a good employee. I never wanted, I didn't want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. I feel, I feel like, uh, I mean, I was the same way. <laughs> any, any, any time that I was an employee and I, you know, I always, uh, I always count those times back of, you know, I turned 50. So from the time I was 18, I think I've been a, I've been an employee for somebody, I think 12 of those years, something like that. Something stupid. Um, I, I, like I wasn't fulfilled number one and I wasn't like, except for making them money, I wasn't doing anything for their company. I, I was just, I was, I was there for a purpose and that purpose was for me to make money. There was no, no other reason. And when you become an entrepreneur, you have to realize like it's not just about the money, like you're impacting others one way or the other. And if you're going about that work, then you're going to then you're going to feel fulfilled. And that's why, like when when guys like you guys like me say I wasn't a good employee, that's really what it comes down to. There wasn't a fulfillment there. And yep. so because we weren't fulfilled, maybe we did some stupid stuff we shouldn't have done. Right. Um, I agree. Uh, and, and that goes the next step of though, like when we hire people or bring people on our team, we have to keep that in mind of what we can do to help them be fulfilled. Cause at the places that I worked and was an employee, probably same with you, like they were all, they only cared about what I brought to the table in terms of revenue They didn't give a shit about anything else that I, that was going on in my life, as long as it didn't impact them to make money. Right. And, um, as as business owners, as entrepreneurs, like we have to be, we have to be cognizant of the fact that they're people. They have lives. Like they're trying to achieve shit too. And if we can help them achieve things, they're going to help us achieve the things that that we want to achieve. You know, absolutely. I think that's more important right now. Um, I think right now it's it's all about company culture. Um, it's not it's not about just a dollar. I mean. You know, people are going to come come run to your place. You're saying, "Oh, I'm paying twenty dollars an hour," because they want to be in a place where they they have a good culture and they feel that they're wanted, and they can grow, and they can advance. So I think that's where we're at right now. Yeah. Um, it's hard to get. You know, guys are trying to hire just labor. Like I just want to hire some labor and pay them, you know, eighteen bucks an hour. That's not easy to do anymore. Right. It's yeah. not. Yeah, I mean, uh, the uh, trying to find a helper or uh, you know somebody to work for the day. Yeah. I think that kind of stuff is quickly becoming a thing of the past. Um, you have to invest in your people and it's more than just paying them. Um, it's, you know, giving them opportunity. I always call it providing a ramp to opportunity. And if you do that, 
uh, and and, 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 I'm a t- and that's not money. That's investing time and energy into helping them be the best they can be at what they're doing. Because if somebody feels like they're good at something, they're going to give you everything they got. Uh, and I think the failures in the past, and, and I'm guilty of this as anybody else, the, my, the failures of the past when I've had team members has been thinking that it's their job to figure it out instead of my job to make them be as successful as they possibly can. And I think that's the big shift too. Uh, Like you mentioned company culture, but the responsibility coming to the owner to say, okay, it's my job to make sure you're successful. Absolutely. Dominate the day. That's what we're about to do. If you don't want to dominate, then this podcast ain't for you. But if you are, then keep listening. Because every single damn day, the mission is, it's to dominate. You already know. We're here to dominate the day. So if you want to dominate every day, then let's go. It's time to grow. This is another episode of Dominate the Day.